Hi folks, it's Switchback. We're continuing our Leave No Trace series, and this is about the third principle today, which is to dispose of your waste properly. All of this information is available also at lnt.org. LNT as in Leave No Trace. This principle is important because we want to minimize the risk of spreading disease, maximize decomposition, we want to reduce the implications of someone else possibly finding our waste. We want to minimize potential contamination of water sources. In most places, you can bury your poo. However, in some areas that are more fragile, such as narrow river canyons or high alpine areas, you're required to carry out your poo. And in order to do this properly, you can buy a bag that's designated and designed specifically for this, typically referred to as a wag bag. If you are going to bury your poo, it needs to be at least 200 feet from any water source, trail, or anywhere else that anyone might be camping or walking. Dig a hole that's six to eight inches deep, though if you're in the desert, four to six inches will suffice. Also about four to six inches in diameter. If the situation is a little more emergent and you have a bowel movement prior to digging your hole, then dig a hole next to where you've just pooed and scrape it into there using some sticks. When you're finished, be sure to cover and disguise your hole. I recommend putting a little bit of soil into the hole and then stirring it around with a stick to help aid in decomposition. Any toilet paper or wipes that are used should be packed out. Even wipes that claim to be flushable or biodegradable should be packed out. Any spots that are used for cat holes should be widely dispersed if you're in a large group or if you're staying in one area for more than one night. Try to find nice, deep, organic soil. This will usually be rich and dark in color. If possible, a site that's exposed to sunlight, such as a south-facing slope, can help aid in decomposition and can also kill any pathogens. Try to look for a somewhat elevated spot to avoid any runoff and definitely avoid any dry creek beds or anywhere else where clearly water flows periodically. Some people choose to use stones, leaves, or snow to wipe. Any of these should be buried as well. Never burn tissues because this can result in a wildfire. If you're someone who requires using tampons, be sure to carry those out. Never burn or bury tampons. Urine may attract animals who are into the salt, and so urinating onto gravel, rocks, or pine needles can help make this a little less attractive. You can also dilute your urine a bit, and urine has been shown to have minimal impacts on plants. With regards to any other trash in general, pack it in, pack it out. It's always wise to carry a separate trash bag for your trash and for any trash that you find along the way. Some trash that some people might not think to carry out would include your bacon grease, any leftovers, cigarette butts, uh, fruit peels like orange peels or apple cores, banana peels, fishing line, pistachio shells, etc. If possible, plan meals avoiding any smelly or nasty garbage. When packing up your site before leaving, be sure to check your site for any micro trash, including food scraps or very small pieces of plastic, corners from wrappers, etc. Any wastewater that's created from dishes, brushing your teeth, bathing yourself should be disposed of at least 200 feet from any water source. You can use a sump hole. Another option would be to scatter the water. And any scattered water should be well away from anywhere that you might camp. Wastewater should also be strained in a mesh strainer, such as a bandana. And anything that's caught in that bandana should be packed out. If fresh water is scarce, consider just leaving it alone and not getting into it so that you can reduce your risk of contaminating it. Lotion, soap, sunscreen, insect repellent, even your body oils can all contaminate a water source. Any of these should be used or washed away at least 200 feet from any water source, regardless of whether or not they claim to be biodegradable. A few ideas for bathing can be wipes, you can use your cook pot, your water bladder, or even your bidet. Be sure to keep an eye out for the next video in the series, which will be about principle number four, leave what you find. I hope that you found this video helpful in figuring out how to properly dispose of your waste. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have any thoughts, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!